I'd like to welcome all of you here today for this wonderful lunch, but more importantly, and those of you who have been through the program this morning have told me how productive this day has been, to the first Columbia Alumni Leaders Meeting. In prior years, this was a meeting of the Columbia Alumni Association Assembly. And as good and productive as that was, we decided to expand the program and the constituency this weekend to include alumni leaders from the college and general studies, engineering, the Graduate School of Arts and Sciences, and journalism, so that you could come yourselves and have your own leadership meetings and join with the broader CAA leadership in a way that would bring us all together to share ideas, to share best practices, to reconnect with Columbia and with one another. And that's really what the CAA is all about. It's a simple idea, but one I think that is extraordinarily powerful. And the turnout this afternoon, I think, underscores this potential. Now, within this university-wide meeting of the minds, we have a little bit of business to do. And it's CAA business with respect to electing the new chair and this year's board of the Columbia Alumni Association. And let me take a moment to explain just a bit this process so you understand its inclusiveness, its transparency, and its representative nature. The CAA board is made up of 40 alums drawn from across the university, from every one of its 16 schools, from a wide range of graduating years and professional interests and personal ethnic and demographic backgrounds, including representation from alumni leaders around the world. A nominating committee of that board, of your board, puts together a slate of officers for each year. The nominating committee is made up of about 10 of our most senior members. And we have the election conducted really in two steps. One is a large participation by proxy. If you're going to have uh, an alumni assembly, which is made up of about 150 or 180 people, that are drawn from across the city, the nation, and the world, they obviously can't all be here today. So we have met our quorum to meet by the proxies that we have received, that I have received in conjunction with Donna McPhee, our Vice President for Alumni Affairs. These were sent out via email and have been returned. And we have a quorum, obviously, then to meet, in addition to the assembly members who are here today, and those individuals through proxy have also cast their ballots for the slate. The second part of the election is to ask those members here present who have not voted by proxy to raise their hands when I ask them to, uh, to vote on the slate. So let me talk for a moment about the slate. It's been my privilege, uh, after having served two years as vice chair, of the CAA under Steve Case's wonderful chairmanship to have served as your chair for the past four years. And in my place has been nominated George Van Amson, a college graduate, a leader uh, on uh, the Columbia community in every context you can imagine, a trustee emeritus, one of the founding members of the Black Alumni Council, a leader in the college, and uh, George has been the vice chair of the CAA essentially since its, since its founding, has served as chair of our honors and prizes committee, and I cannot think, and I assure you the nominating committee, and with the full endorsement of the board, could not think of a more perfect candidate to serve as chair. Standing for re-election is Brian Crisberg, our current vice chair. Brian is a former president of the College Alumni Association, and again, is very heavily involved in leadership at the college, at the university, in the CAA, and in fact, serves 
as the program chair for this weekend's activities. Also nominated are Armand Adams, 06, the college, representative from the Black Alumni Council, Kira Tarani Barry, president of the Columbia College Alumni Association, Stephen Kane, college and law, president of the Columbia University Club of New England, Avanti Mus Mulusti, president of the Columbia Club of India, Philippa Portnoy, Barnard and Business, a elected member at large, Roxanne Smithers, College and Law, President of the Columbia Club of Atlanta, Kyriakos Taskopoulos, the College, a University Trustee, and Adriana Villavalencio from the Latino Alumni Association. At this time, I, according to the bylaws of the association, ask if there are any other nominations. There is a provision in the bylaws by which other nominations can be put forward with the signatures of 25 alums. Thus far, I have not received any other nominations, but it is proper for me at this juncture to ask if there are any other. Thank you. When, I, I'm not certain, it's not in the script what I do if, um, yeah. <laughs> I think we just adjourn. So for those of you who are voting members of the assembly, if I could ask for a show of hands in favor of the slate that I have read, I would appreciate it. Thank you very much. Clearly joined with the proxies we have received, it is um, an overwhelming endorsement of our new leadership. And thankfully, the election went as I might have anticipated because we're going to show um, a video now, and, and George is in it, so um, it's, <laughs> it's particularly uh, convenient that this is all going according to plan. The video was created by Joe Turner Lynn, a graduate of both the college and the School of Arts. And I welcome you to watch the video while you enjoy your lunch. Thank you very much. <laughs>